hello guys today in this tutorial i will basically show you a view clone uh, view js canva clone graphics editor that i built using fabric js you can see guys i am running this on local host 3000 and uh, basically this is a demo of the application canva clone it's a graphic fully fledged graphic editor and basically it is uh, can be used to basically develop uh, graphics for your social media platform such as youtube video thumbnail or you can make instagram post anything so now we can have this canvas element you can basically select the width and the height you can provide 1280 by 720 you can just provide any preset size so this is for youtube thumbnail i am just doing it and then guys you can basically have random background color so you can see that or you can even have a color picker right here so you can basically pick any color of your choice like this and also guys we also have uh, these pre-made templates out there if you want to select a particular th th uh, template and add it to the canvas you can even do this also like this it makes it very much easy for you and also we have this undo and redo options as well so we also have uh, preview preview option as well guys as you can see we have a preview button right here so you can hit this button preview button to actually see the live preview of the graphics that you made and then we have a download button this will actually download the image to us you can see as a png image so what we can say is that we can also reset guys click on are you sure you want to clear it okay so now your canvas has been cleared so now guys after that this is your thing right here let me just uh, 1280 by 720 this is a youtube thumbnail uh, now we can add some text right here like this we can resize it let's suppose i write it so we can add some text right here we can add multiple text here like this so you can just make thumbnails right here guys resize the text using this uh, simple and then just select the text and we have various fonts out there to select from if you apply them you will basically see the fonts which are supported right here so in the left hand side all the fonts which will be there right here it will be supported you will see that so this is a great tool guys where you can actually make awesome little thumbnails and uh, i made this inside vue.js after uh, if you want the full source code of this web application guys the link are given in the description you can directly purchase the full source code after you purchase the full source code you will get this directory structure you will get a zip file you need to extract it and after extracting the zip file you will actually get this uh, full vue.js project and if i show you basically the libraries that we are using for this project it is using uh, fabric js let me show you fabric js we are using in this library guys so all the links are given guys you can purchase it in indian rupees in stripe or you can purchase it in united states dollars in paypal.com so all the links are given so check out the payment links in the description of the video to purchase the full source code of this project so you can see we have this uh, assets folder all these components are there so it is built using vue.js you can see that view files are there align attribute background color center align clone so this is a fully fledged project guys that i developed here you will see that it is built it inside vue.js and now let me show you some more features of this uh, canva clone editor we also have this basically guys you can draw some shapes out there as you can see so you can draw some shapes out there also so it makes it very much easy so you can add some these shapes out there these rectangle you can do that you can also add a circle you can see that guys how easy it is and then we can even save it as a scalable vector graphic guys which is svg so which works in the browser itself so you can even save it as a scalable vector graphics as well and now guys i will basically show you uh, how we can let me just uh, let me change the background and uh, now if you basically want to insert images you can insert a picture from your computer system just drag this picture right here you can select this picture from your computer 
So this is a very easy way by which you can do that. So just refresh. There is an insert option. Just insert your picture right here. So as you can see guys, this picture is there. And uh, you can add multiple pictures. Again, click insert picture. And now you can see that. So if you want to basically grab pictures from your computer, you can even do that also. And we can apply filters to this picture. Just select the picture, make it black and white, brownie or something like this, vintage. So various filters are also there guys. You can apply straight away to your photographs inside the Canva clone. So you can see that various filters are there. Complex filters are also there. You can adjust the brightness. You can adjust the contrast level. All these things, saturation level as well, hue rotation, pixelate, blur. If you want to blur your video, you can even do that also. So all these features are supported guys in the editor itself. You can see that. So it makes it very much uh, easy guys to actually control all the options. And uh, then we can even delete layers. So simply click it and after that you can even delete certain elements as well. So simply click it or you can create a clone as well like this. So there is various options are there. Quick copy. You can delete it. You can copy it. So we can center align it. You can see that. We can flip the image and then we have a flip y flip image in the y direction. So we can even apply shadow as well guys. Let's suppose if you want to apply shadow here, you can even apply shadow as well. So you can change the background color. All these things are there guys. You can uh, preview it by clicking the preview button. Click save. You can save this as a picture SVG copy to clipboard or save it as a template as well. So let's suppose I save it as a JSON file. So this is my template. I can also import this template as well that I imported. So if I just refresh it, so sometimes you will, uh, if your uh, light is gone, if your internet is shut off, you can simply import that template that you saved right here. So this template will be there. So inside the JSON file. So this is a great option guys. So these are all the features and these are certain elements which are there. You can also draw some arrows as well. Cartoons are also there guys, emojis, cartoons, all these things, you will see that it is available to you inside the media library. So if you drag down, all these things will be available pre-built as in Canva, which is there. It will also be available to you. And then guys, uh, you can see that all these things will be available. And in the layers panel, you will see all these layers which we added right here in the elements panel right here in the left hand side, you will see this is the image this is the text right here that we added right here so these are all available in the layers panel right here if you see right here in the left hand side so individually we can select layers we can ed edit them or we can delete them so you can see that so this is a fully fleshed editor guys so the link is given guys you can directly purchase the full source code so it is made using Vue.js and we have used a library, animation library in JavaScript, which is Fabric.js. It's a JavaScript canvas library to make this awesome little project. Thank you very much guys for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next one.